Hello, Mark Gallucci with Digital Control Incorporated. This brief video is going to discuss a couple of the lesser known menu icons off of the Digitrack F5 receiver. I'm going to thumb it down, thumb it down again, and I'm going to highlight the diagnostics. Let's click that. We're now viewing two submenus. Neither one of these menu options are active right now. They're placeholders for future features. But I would like to mention one thing. On the perform self-test, the Digitrack F5 already performs a complete diagnostic self-test every time you turn the box on. During the boot up cycle, it tests itself. And should it detect a problem, you will be alerted both visually and audibly that a problem has been found. And the last menu we're going to discuss is the information page or the system information. Let's click that. You're currently viewing a list of software firmware versions that make up this specific Digitrack F5 receiver. I will point out a couple of items though. Top left, the ID or serial number of this unit, followed by the tele region. The governments of the world dictate to electronic companies which frequencies are available in their airspace. This unit is currently compliant with the United States. You'll see different regions in there depending where you are on the planet, which country you work in, where you purchase your unit. Now we have the region number. The point here is that the region number of your handheld unit, you see it here and you also see it during the boot up cycle must match the transmitter's region number or you will not have communication. The transmitter's region number is etched on the stainless steel battery compartment. Runtime. Well, this unit has 181 hours exactly since it was first turned on. Upper right, BT, that stands for Bluetooth, that is the Bluetooth ID number of this specific receiver. When you're data logging, we upload that information to your computer via a Bluetooth device. The first time you do it, you have to set up your computer and it will ask you, you can either load that specific ID number in the appropriate place or you can tell these two units to search out for each other. I find it quicker just to know that number and plug that in in the appropriate spot on your computer when you're setting it up. Let's click the trigger. Back to the main menu. Please look for other videos that discuss all menu options available on the Digitrack F5 receiver.